I'm Alan with Earthglow Inc. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to get a killer hot throw from soy wax. Now, soy is one of those that is notoriously difficult to get a good hot throw from. I have confidence that if you apply these five tips I'm about to give you, that you will be able to get a fantastic hot throw from your candles that are made with soy wax. Um, now, if this is something that you're interested in, definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the like button so that more of these types of videos can pop up in your newsfeed. Tip number one is to purchase fragrance oils that are specifically formulated for soy wax. Um, websites like Candle Science actually have in their column about their fragrances, and I'll try to pull this up on the screen too, um, how the fragrance performs in soy, and they give like a star rating. Um, Nature's Garden has something similar as well, where you can actually see when you page through what the, uh, what the expected performance is of that fragrance in soy wax. And um, I will say though, it's always important to do your own testing. Part two to this is to read the reviews of the fragrance oil that you're looking at. So for example, take Candle Science's Sea Salt and Orchid. Um, it's extremely popular. There are tons of reviews um, on this fragrance. Now, if you look in those reviews and do like a control F to search for the word soy, you can find any like reviewer's comment that has that word in it. And it's really helpful because they often are talking about how well that particular fragrance does or doesn't do in soy wax. Um, so you always do want to do your own testing, but that can be very helpful to get started. And tip number two is to use a stick thermometer and not an infrared thermometer. Now, I personally use both in my own candle making, but when you're specifically wanting to be very accurate with your temperatures, stick thermometers are very good. Uh, because infrared thermometers have like a 10 degree air margin, I've found when I've tested them um, against boiling water, and stick thermometers are spot on pretty much to the degree uh, for accuracy. And this is really important when you're trying to get a good HT. Tip number three is to add your fragrance oil at 185 degrees. Now 185 is the temperature at which the fragrance molecules and soy are completely expanded and they bind best to the fragrance oil at this temperature. Um, and you also want to make sure that you stir for a full two minutes and that also helps your fragrance to properly bind. So uh, the combination of adding fragrance at 185 and stirring at two minutes is tip number two. Tip number three is to pour your candles at 135 to 145 in Fahrenheit. And my theory behind this is that you not only get smoother tops in general, but also it helps because the fragrance has sort of had time to sit with the wax for a little while before you kind of disturb it and pour it into the candles. Um, and I've always found these temperatures with a 135 to 145 range um, to produce the best HT with my soy candles. And tip number four is to use the CD Wick series. Um, a number of manufacturers carry this Wick series and it is fantastic for soy wax. Um, they burn at a slightly higher temperature and that will help your fragrance um, and your soy wax candles to kind of fill the room a bit more. Um, so the CD Wick series is tip number And four. tip number five is to let your candles cure for a full two weeks. And I know this can be really hard, um, but at very least I would suggest waiting at least a few days before you go ahead and burn your candles or sell them. Um, and for certain fragrances that are kind of lighter, letting them have a longer cure time will help you to get that mature, strong hot throw that you're after. Well, I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to you giving soy wax a second try. And I'm confident that if you apply these tips that you will have a killer hot throw. Um, and if you already had a decent hot throw that you will have an improved HT by applying these five tips. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit like and subscribe if this video was helpful and I wish you happy candle making.